Hey guys, and welcome to Patron, a really interesting uh, banished style medieval city builder, colony builder. Uh, it's currently, um, this is the demo. Uh, it's currently in an early alpha build. It's uh, it's not going to be released into early access until the, I think it's the 3rd of August. Yeah, 3rd of August. Um, and I'd, I'll be honest, I can't wait for this to be released because the demo currently limits you to two hours of playing. And after playing for two hours, oh my God, I just wanted to play more. Uh, which I got to say is a bit of a shock because when I sat down to play it, I was like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. But after two hours, I was like, no, no, don't stop me now. I want to play. Right. Should we get on and play? Let's play. Okay. New game. Uh, I am quickly going to choose a banner because we want to move through this. Pretty lightning fast. Uh, that's the one that I like. And we'll call this, uh, what should we call this? We'll call it Skytown, I guess. Why not? Skytown. Woohoo. Oh, okay. Apparently, apparently the delete key doesn't work. Backspace does though. Okay. Uh, now, like I say, this is um, this is very early access, but it's just been updated like a few days ago. Uh, I think like about five five days ago, they, um, they put out an update and there's a bunch of changes. So I thought now was a good time to uh, to play it and see what state it's in. So there are a whole bunch of different maps. Like there's, this is the only map that we can play at the moment in the demo, but there's all kinds of maps, including like there's this volcano map and, and they all have different parameters and all this kind of stuff. I'll show you, I'll flick through them. Look, there you go. All kinds of stuff. Fjords of Iron. Okay, so let's play. You can tweak all the settings. Now, I'm going to play on normal. I was going to play on easy. Um, but am I going to play on... No, nah, I think I'm going to play on normal. Uh, the, the only reason, if I played on easy, then I could probably show you a little bit more of the game. But no, we'll play on normal. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Go. Okay. So um, so what's kind of hooked me on this? What what got me... And it's, it's the same thing that hooks you on all of these kinds of games. Um... And that is the the, um, the 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 mechanics and the balances and the, and the production chains and, and making it work and making it grow and all that kind of stuff. And I tell you what, in terms of hooking you, it's it's um, it's pretty good. I like the mechanics generally. Right, uh, we're going to rattle off and try and get some stuff built. So the first thing we're going to want is um, some houses, but I'm actually going to put them in last because um, I kind of want to put other things in first so I can kind of judge where I want my houses. Now, if we look at them um, at some overlays, actually, I can just do it by hitting the G here. Um, there's, a, there's a grid, a building grid, and then there's this, which shows you the, um, the soil fertility. And this is kind of important because you've got to plan out, like, where am I going to put my fields? Where am I going to grow my crops? There's also um, the ore grid, which shows you where the ore is. So, surprisingly... Uh, or not surprisingly, it's uh, like around the mountains and stuff. Yeah, tends to be tends to be near the mountains, which is like shocker. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, what are we going to do? Let's put the build grid on for a second. Uh, the first thing I'm going to put in, uh, I am going to have a docks. This enables us to trade with the mainland. Now up here, you can see how much cash we've got and all that kind of stuff. Uh, how much, like 50 tools and 50 stone and 50 iron and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see, train with the docks, that's 150 a year. Uh, we won't put that in first. I think we'll, we'll get to that. I'm going to put in some, some, some production buildings instead. Right, gather a shelter. This will bring in food. We need loads of that. Now, if we look around, uh, we can uh, move it around. You can see the efficiency changes, and it's 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 based on how many trees are in there, generally speaking. But if I, if I put it here, like that's that's pretty much covering everything. That's one hundred and twelve percent. But if I go up here, um, I can get one hundred and twenty percent up here, and you move it around, and you get different dif different numbers. So I think probably around one hundred and twenty percent seems to be about the most that I can get. So that'll do. That'll do. Let's put um, let's put a gatherer's shelter up there. Then I'm going to want uh, I'm going to want some wood produced. So we're going to put in a forester's hut. Now this both plants and cuts down trees, which is uh, very nice of it. Um, now I can get I could get up to like 140 percent up here. So I think that's exactly what we'll do. I think we'll put this in probably about there would be good. 140 percent. Nice. And um, what else? What else? Uh, we want... Uh, I'm going to put in two, actually, because I want another one. 
Let's say about, we can get about 127% up here, which is pretty darn good. Uh, let's say down here, it's like 100, oh, hang on. I can get 127% there. Oh, I might, I might just take that. Oh, I can put it a little bit further up. Oh, I got 130%. Oh, okay. Yeah, do it. 130%. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've got um, we've got two foresters huts going in. We've got one gatherer's shelter. I'm also going to put in... Let's see, how much cash have I got now? <laughs> I've got to balance this. How much are my houses going to cost? So I look, houses. I need six houses. They're going to cost me 20 piece. That's 120. Uh, I want to get at least one hunting lodge in. Let me see. Town buildings. No, production buildings. Um, hunting lodge. Uh, maybe we'll put the hunting lodge over here. What's the... I would like to get at least... Oh, that's 103. Well, that's nice. Uh, yeah, that'd do for, that'd do for start. That's 100, 100, 104. Why is it this side? 104. Yeah, but I think that's about the best we're going to get around here. So we'll put a hunting lodge in there. Now, can can we put one in? Oh, it's a little bit better over there. 106. What about this side? Oh, 108. Well, probably about 108 is the best we're going to do. So, do we want to have that? Yeah, we'll put it over this side, I think. 108%. In you go. All right, sweet. Okay, well, we need to get all of those built. Now, we start off down here, right? I'm going to use this as my harbour. I'm going to have my docks and stuff over here. But we need some, uh, we need some houses going. So, I think what we'll do is we'll get, um, we'll get some roads put in. Um, or at least eventually we'll get some roads put in. Let's see. Uh, I want to put my this grid on just so that I can see. So I, I'm probably going to have my my field my crops down this end. So the dock's about there. So yeah, somewhere somewhere around here would be good, I think. So let's do it. Houses, and we want six of these houses to get us started. So let's do. One, two, three. Actually, I should change the grid to the to the build grid so that I can see a bit more easily. Um, and let's do. How do I want to do this? Um, it's a good point. How do I want to do this? I, the reason I'm umming and ahhing is because there is a building. Where are, you? Where are you? Town buildings, here we go. Called the Watchtower. Now this thing um, provides security. And we'll talk more about that stuff later. But I wanna make sure that, we're, we're, that everything's fitting within the radius. So, yeah, I might put that there. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm gonna do. In which case, I'm gonna put the two houses uh, there and there. Nice. All right, now let's do a little bit of roadage, shall we? A little bit of roadage? Yeah, a little bit of roadage. If I can actually get it, if I actually choose the dirt road and actually put it in. So we're going to want a road going up here to these things. So if I take it up to about there. Now, uh, unfortunately, you can't put in diagonal roads. It just does that. Which, I, I've got to say, I really don't like that. I mean, why not be able to just like put in diagonal roads? I don't, I don't get it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna very kind of roughly put in a um, or try and put in a diagonal road going kind of sort of up here, but it's I keep I keep clicking on the wrong cells. So um, yeah, what I'm gonna do because this takes a little bit of time, I'll, I'll I'll do this one and then if I do any others, I'll probably just cut them out. Uh, just to edit the video because it um, it takes a while. Right, I think we're we're at the point where we can tell them to get going. So I'm going to get some trees chopped down so that we can actually build stuff. So we've got uh, we've got our gathering stuff here. We're going to tell them to uh, gather some trees. So chop down some trees in this area. That'll give us plenty of wood to uh, to get these buildings made. Um, we'll leave those as is. We'll leave those as is. Okay, we have got 60 gold. 60 gold. It's not a lot. It's really not a lot. All right, let's get, uh, let's get some more road put in, I think. So, I'm just going to take this up here like this. And going to speed up the game. 
Well, maybe slow it down until I get this road put into place. Oh, man. Why, why, why not put diagonal roads in? It's kind of crazy not putting diagonal roads in. But hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I'm not going to moan too much. I think I've moaned, moaned plenty already. And here we go. All the way up here. Man, it's so slow doing it like this, isn't it? But like I said, I'm probably going to cut this out, so it probably, probably doesn't matter. Right, we go up to there, and then we'll have a uh, road going across the lake. Uh, actually, let's go one more. And we'll go across like that. And we'll have that going up and down like that. Okay, good. And then we'll do the same thing here. So just to hook this up to here. Okay, having got those roads done, let's um let's speed this up. There we go. Excellent. So our people are uh, are heading off to do their various jobs now as you can see they make it very clear what uh, what issues they have it's like we don't have any homes so consequently they have little little house icons over their heads this is their biggest problem at the moment we don't have any housing okay so here they come now there's um there's one other thing that i need to get built and that is if i go to production buildings this the depot it's a very important building um basically it's the dropping off point for um, for all the stuff that gets produced so i'm gonna i'm gonna pop this in i'm gonna pop this in up here i gotta say i'm kind of you know what, i'm gonna pop it in down here yeah i'm gonna pop it in down there right let's get that build i've got 30 gold oh man and we've got a lot to get done a lot to build uh, the game, the, the beginning of the game, is uh, is quite challenging, uh, even on this level. Right, the king sends his regards. Most excellent. And he's going to, oh, he's going to send us 50 stone. Now, normally, you have to make some kind of impossible choice, um, which will always, uh, like, like make some people happy and um, upset some other people. Or more usually, uh, it's a choice between upsetting one group of people or upsetting another group of people. How are we doing? We got any, anything built yet? Not yet. Not yet. Now, because I've decided to do this like way up here, uh, it does mean that these poor people have got to go like quite a long distance. Um, what I could do, let's see. Um, I could put this road going down here, which might speed things up a little. Let's get it coming down to, say, there. There we go. That'll do. Um, they do have to build it, though. So it's it's not free, but it will speed things up. The other thing that will speed things up, and I really like this. I think it's a really nice touch. This is a road sign. Helps your citizens find their way quicker. They move 5% faster while near the road sign. Right. We'll put a road sign in. And if, um, if I zoom out a bit, you can see it's got a radius. So... We can pop that in there and then pop another one probably up um say there and let's see so that was up to there so we want another one in say there and another one in say there excellent and then we can put some going down this way as well so we'd want one oh probably about there that gets us down to there so then maybe one down there and what about there maybe and then oh probably there-ish and there-ish and if that one's there then i don't know maybe put i tell you what if we put one on that corner and then i'll have a little road going just oh come on no, that's road sign. I want road. There we go. Dirt road. Thank you. I want dirt road that comes along at least to the front of the building. At least. Okay, cool. Excellent. Have we got anything built? And they're all complaining about food. Where's our food? Because we haven't got any food at the moment. Uh, which is why we need some of these buildings working. That's the forester. That's forester. Gatherer. Okay. Let's get a couple of gatherers assigned. Now, you can either do the assignment in the buildings themselves, or you can go to here, the jobs board, 
well, you get everything. So uh, we'll pop in a carrier. Um, the job of the carrier is to move stuff that around between um, like uh, the the different depots. And then we want, uh, let's see, we want a couple of foresters. We want a hunter. Okay, right. We're up to 57 gold. Uh, most of please. Oh, he's giving us 36 firewood. That's very nice of him. Okay, now we're going to need coal or firewood to heat our homes. Most importantly, we need food. So let's try and get uh, food going. Now, why are we doing anything here? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know why that forester isn't... Oh, yeah, it's fine now. It's just the person hadn't got there. That's all. Okay. So we've got the, um, the two hunting lodges need to be got going. Right. There are various upgrades that you can do to the buildings to make them uh, produce more. Uh, I'm gonna focus initially on the gatherer's shelter. So if we up do this upgrade, it costs us 30 gold and one lumber and it increases production by 25%. Okay, excellent. If we do this expansion, which costs 50 coins, we will increase our worker slots by one. So um, initially, I think um, probably the expansion is going to be better for the, for the first one so we'll do that and we'll get an extra person in there now let's have a look at our jobs board we've only got three workers left yeah so we're low on people um i will put one carrier in there so we've only got one worker and your workers are the the people who like keep things going they um they move things around from building to building so it's important that um, we have those people. Okay, so uh, let's have a look at this gallery. So I've got 70. I can do... I can do large baskets. We're producing 1,000 a year. Um, you know what? I think, we'll, I think we're going to have to manage with that because we need to be producing firewood. We're almost into the winter. So I'm going to go to production buildings. Let's see if we can't get a sawmill built. I'm going to put the sawmill in there, I think. Um, I'm going to flip it around that way, I think. Because, because it'll, it'll look nice, I think, if we, uh, if we flip it around that way. Okay. Let's have a look at this. Now, I've got to say, the buildings and stuff don't look bad at all. Some of the buildings are particularly pretty. If we go and have a look. They're all nicely modelled. Some nice details. But some, like, these are all pretty basic. Some of the buildings... Oh, oh, like seriously nice. Nicely decorated. You've got, your, got the flags that we chose at the beginning. Lots of detail. Some bits and pieces lying around. Nice. Okay, we're going into the winter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everybody's cold. They're not happy. Uh, we need to get some people in the sawmill making some, uh, making some firewood. Right, so what does that leave us with? Well... Leaves us with, like, nothing, essentially. Um, so, yeah, people are just going to have to go and get what they need. There's, there's going to be nobody carrying around stuff for them. Oh, well, it is what it is. A sunken ship. Oh, just what we need. Organise a surf... Uh, sur We've got two options. Organise a search party. And uh, we can get three adults and five children. And uh, immigration for peasants and labourers will go down. Immigration for merchants and gentry will go up. Or we can go and loot it, let, or let everybody drown, and then the immigration will reverse. So we'll do, uh, we'll do this one. Excellent. Right, that gives us some more people, which is awesome. But we need to house them. Housing shortage. Great. Now, uh, let me pause it for a second, because I wanted to show you... Um, actually, I'll explain it once I get the houses built. So let's get a couple more houses going in. So I'm gonna have to watch down here. So it's fine to have a couple more houses going on up here. Let's just have the grid so that I get things in the right place. That goes there, that goes there. Nice. Right, build those and then I'll explain. Now what you're what you're supposed to do, really, is put in one of these. A shelter. Which is um it's like temporary housing. So kind of like a boarding house. And uh yeah, but um, there, I'm not going to go into it, but I think there are some issues with this potentially at the moment in this um, in this alpha build. Actually, in this update, they might have been sorted out, but I'm not going to risk it in this playthrough. So I'm just going to try and stay ahead with the houses, which is going to be interesting. All right, 
Now, as well as all of this nonsense, uh, this is what tells this tells you how many people you've got, by the way. So we've got 12 adults, five young, but it also tells you how many families there are. So um, you know how many houses you actually need. So currently we need eight houses and we've got six occupied and two empty at the moment. Um, but the people who are homeless up here, they will move into those new houses and then we won't have any uh, homeless people. And won't that be nice? There we go, look. We're now occupied seven. One's still getting built. How are we doing for lumber? We're doing okay for lumber. That's good. Um, firewood is virtually non-existent in the colony. I guess I guess we are producing it, but it's coming out very, very slowly. But that's okay. Uh, now, I could, I could, um, like... Um, start getting coal production and whatever but i'm not going to i'm not going to because i'm going to go a, a very specific route uh, and try desperately to make it work um this road needs to be completed here so let's get that let's get that done there we go hooray okay so um how are we doing with this sawmill okay we're producing now we could uh, try and uh expand it to um to produce more um but at the moment we're going to try and struggle through this first winter. They are getting little bits of, um, of firewood here and there. And we're, we're through February now. And nobody's died, thank God. So we've managed to just about stave off freezing to death. I think, well, I say, I say that. Like, so far. So far we've done that. Okay, let's get rid of these, these overlays and, uh, and focus on what's going on now. So, uh, the gatherer's shelter. This is where I want to like get the majority of our food from and we're out of food at the moment so we're going to go for the la large baskets upgrade and we'll get upgrade two as well and we'll get upgrade three okay that cost me a lot <laughs> but it's increased production by 75 uh, percent. so we're now up to like 1735 a year now let's have a look at the food and it tells you how much you produced in the previous preceding month and how much you used and if we look at that maybe next month when things have settled down a little bit, we'll uh, we'll see how we're doing. Oh, the king is helping us out at the beginning and he's sending us a bit more firewood. Isn't that nice? That'll last us about, oh, three, perhaps four seconds. Um, four, five, oh, five seconds, six seconds maybe. It's very impressive. All right. What we need to do now is get um, some money so that we can start building other things. Now, what I want to do over here is get um, is get some trading going. Now, here's the docks. This enables you, enables you to trade with the mainland. Uh, what do we need? We need 100 coins to build this. Okay. Uh, before we do that, let's get some research going. There's um, there's a an interesting research tree here. There's um, there's there's a reasonable amount to it. It goes on for it goes on for quite the while. Yes, loads, loads and loads and look, look, there's loads of it. But we've got to start right down this end. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get uh, a fisherman's hook going. Takes um, seven days to research it, costs 25 gold, and it also costs 25 lumber. Any costs are um, called upkeep. And if we look at, for example, this sawmill, this upkeep, in order to keep, to produce 800 a year, it needs an upkeep of 100 lumber. So 100, sorry, 120 logs given to it. Uh, and if you're not providing that much, then your production will fall. Well, we, we are we are we are getting food coming in here and there. We are getting firewood coming in here and there, here and there. Now we're going to need some more iron because our uh, our hunters, funnily enough need um need uh, iron they need iron and they need logs because they need to make like uh weapons like axe heads uh, sorry axe heads and uh, arrow heads and things like that so they need a certain amount of iron coming in it's an interesting mechanic so we've got um is that iron over there i think that's iron over there so let's come over gathering gather metal is that yes now we also want some stone uh, Kevin only knows where there's any stone. Gather stone. Um, is there any stone up there? Ah, yes. There you go. Stone right there. Good. So we'll tell them to uh, to gather some of that. So we've got iron coming in. Uh, we've got stone coming in. Now, tools. Tools, definitely an issue. Um, we would have to get... Um, we, now, 
we can get a tool maker going, but we would need to have um, ideally an iron mine and a coal mine supplying that. Uh, what's this? Pagan help. My leaves. The, the locals have offered our food, uh, have noticed our food shortage and are thankfully offering help. So we can either accept it and get a bunch of food. And then, as you can see, it has effects on our religion. Or we can say no and it has different effects on our religion. I'm going to take the food because why wouldn't you? Here's our happiness. Things are very, very happy at the moment. So that's all good. Um, influence points are used for enacting decrees. Decrees are issued at the uh, the town hall over here they call it the townhouse but really it's the town hall and um yeah you can you can choose from all kinds of things i don't think we're going to get to that in this playthrough but yeah one of the things i'm looking forward to uh let's get more research going on why because i keep yakking and not doing stuff what do i want to do uh, i do want to get increased the hunting lodge efficiency that would be good um uh, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way, I think. I see. I, the thing is, I do want to get this food production one because it, uh, it increases all of our, like, pretty much all of our food um, production by like 20%. So, man. All right. Let's, uh, let's keep going. So that research is already done. The research happens really quickly. And I wish there was an audio alert to tell you that it was done. Let's do, let's do mines. That will allow me to get coal and iron mines going, which would be a really, really good thing. Okay. Um, that sawmill. Why was that? Oh, I paused that. I don't know why I paused that or why it got paused. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. We've got a hunting lodge over here. Now, there are other bonuses over here that we can get, but they're, um, they're pretty costly, though, so we're going to stay clear of those for a little bit why i was focusing on the uh, on the gatherer's shelter it's uh, it produces tons of food but you also need a variety of food so you can't just have a gatherer going you do need uh, meat and fish and all the rest of it to keep them healthy the forest is hurt. um now this i am going to boost up a little bit tree growth uh, improved by 15 percent um how much cash have i got Ugh. Okay, let's get a couple of levels of that and improved axes one. And we'll do the same on this one, I think. So we'll get two levels of this and improved axes one. All right, cool. How many people have we got? We've got, we've got seven workers. I can uh, get another carrier going. That's a good thing. Okay, so we've got people. Nice, 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 nice. We've got 355. Okay, let's, let's see if we can't get some, um, the beginnings of some trading going. So what do I want? I want... First of all, the docks. Flip you around that way, and we're going to put it in there. Is where we're going to put it in. Now, I also want to get some uh, some fish going on. So let's get a fisherman's hut. We'll flip that around that way, and that can go in right next door. There, hurrah! Okay, let's get my grid up, and we'll put in. Uh, Put in a little bit of a road along there and down the length of here. Right, how am I gonna hook this up? I think um, maybe we'll just have a road coming out from there. There we go, cool. And the next thing we want is road signs. Of course we want road signs. So I've got a road sign going in there or gone in there. So we'd need one probably about there. And you know what? I'm going to put one in. Yeah, I'm going to put one in there. And then I'm going to put one in the middle as well. Because because why not? It costs like one lumber to, to put it in. So it's not like a big deal. All right, good. Uh, having done that uh, research, I should be trying to keep on top of this. Toolsmith. Get the toolsmith going. All right, let's uh, let's see. Oh man, there's so much to build, so much to build. So much to build. Come on guys, get building. Right, we've got 181 iron, so we, we, have, we do have some iron. We don't have coal. Research is done. What are we gonna do next? Um, I wanna get to the clothes shop is what I wanna get to. All right, let's get 
Um, where are we going to do it? Probably over here, I think. Let's have a look. This is the ore grid. So, yeah, I'm thinking we have a coal mine somewhere over here. So, let's start off with a coal mine. Uh, not town builders, production buildings. Uh, that's the iron mine. This is the coal mine. Let's put in a coal mine about there. That's 100% efficiency. Nice. Um, am I, you know, am I going to just put the iron mine in and just get on with it? Um, 75. <sighs> Go on. I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, and we'll put this one there. That's also 100%. Right, we need a road to connect these, uh, which will run along here like that. Come on, connect up. There we go. And of course, we need our road signs. We want that extra 5% if we can get it. So let's see, that extends out to there. So you know what, we can just put one there and probably leave that. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, cool. Whoops. Uh, what do I want to do now? Um, I want um, to get... I need to get some miners in there as soon as that gets built. Um, we'll put in a... Yeah, we'll put in a trader and we'll put in a fisherman. Okay. Right, so that's those two buildings operational. Nice. Next, how are we doing? See, we're not keeping up with the firewood and we kind of need to do that. So what can we do? Well, we can uh, we can get another person there so we can ex expand this and get another person and then we double our production to 1600. Well, let's see if that's enough. I, I have my doubts, frankly, whether the 1600 is gonna be enough, but we'll see. Now, that means we need 240 logs being produced per year. And if we go and look at these, this one's producing currently 96. And this one is currently producing uh, 288. Okay, so we are producing a surplus. And I'm pretty sure that that's going to change at some point. What's going on here? Our foreman reporting there was a rat infestation in one of our warehouses. We've lost some goods, unfortunately. It's their job to ensure things don't things like this don't happen. If they failed, they can settle the difference. That'll drop our happiness. This, um, so yeah, we'll increase happiness, but we'll lose food. And we're not doing that, so make sure they don't do it again. Take them out, give them a sound beating, send them to bed without any food, and um, and then make them work a double shift tomorrow. There you go. Should be should all be fine now. Right, so down here, um, these are our prices for trading various things. Uh, can you see why... I'm heading towards clothes, by any chance. <laughs> yeah. Clothes are pretty awesome. So we're going to try, we're going to try, I do say try, uh, to get uh, to get some clothes manufactured. So, what do I want? Uh, that's not what I want. What I want, first of all, town buildings. I want, not town buildings, production buildings. I want a depot. Um, I'm going to pop a depot in there, I think. There we go. Depot. Right. Having got a depot, so stuff can get shipped down here, and what we're trying to get is like leather and the uh, the iron and uh, and coal and stuff. We need uh, I need to put some miners in, don't I? Yeah, that would help. Where are we? Miners. Pop two miners in there. Now I've only got three workers, which is not so great. But hey, you know. Right uh, now we can get um, hopefully a clothes shop going. Here we go, clothes shop. Hurrah! Let's put the clothes shop in. Um, now I could put the clothes shop like there or I could put it up here you know what I might just put it there looks quite good there yeah go on clothes shop goes there so we're going to try and make some clothes and sell it to make a profit so that things can move on a little bit faster now the other thing that we could sell if we could make enough of it uh, would be some firewood um, logs sell for one each right but Firewood um, also sells for one each. Ah, well, hang on a second. Uh, essentially, we take one log and turn it into, well, 1.2 logs and turn it into like 100 and... 
no what no uh, into 10 firewood um so yeah in fact more than that so we're yeah making firewood and selling it it's perhaps not a bad idea so that's uh, that's something else that we could do now what i'd like to do is have this one for providing the houses and then if i was going to sell firewood i'd actually put another another um factory down here locally so that we can just bring the logs down and then uh, and do it that way and you know what i think that's maybe not a bad idea so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a road in from here well wait if i can actually select the darn thing come here thank you i'm gonna put a road it just goes straight down here like that boom um and then i'm gonna put another sawmill because because why not why not why not why not sawmill sawmill am i gonna put it there or maybe i'll put it there actually there let's put it there oh it just fits in with the road sign there ha <laughs> ha nice go oh come on there we go Cool. So uh, I do need to put some more of my road signs in, don't I? Of course I do. So let's see. That's going up to about there. So we want a road sign up about there. That one goes up. So we want one about there. And then that covers us to there. That covers... Yeah, looks good. Looks good. All right, cool. What next? What next? Um, keep going with the research, you idiot. It's, i got to say, it's difficult to keep up with the research. Now, we need 500 to research the gathering hall, which is a bit of a pain. Now, essential budgeting reduces our uh, our upkeep on a whole loads of things. Fishermen, huts, hunting quarries, all kinds of stuff. Mines, clothes shops. So let's get that research, because that should save us a bunch of cash. How are we doing? We are... Last month, we produced 91 and we used 105. But that was because I was spending stuff, so we kind of need to see what's going on. uh food we do have food now lumber's looking good we've actually got a little bit of firewood that's shocking maybe we can get this thing built wouldn't that be nice how are we doing for jobs we've got five workers so we're still getting people coming in um yeah we've got we've actually got a, a housing shortage so i should get some more houses going in i tell you what uh, am i going to build the watchtower i probably should yeah go on Let's build a watchtower. So I'll pop a watchtower in there. And then we'll pop... Um, what do I want? Houses, yeah. Uh, we'll bang. Uh, oh, you know what? I should have left a bit of room. But I didn't. So it is what it is. Uh, let's pop a house in there. House in there. Uh, you know what? Well, let's go crazy. Let's go crazy and bang for it. Because why not? Because why not? Because of money, you idiot. And resources. Yeah, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. Okay, uh, how are we doing? Right. Now, uh, one of the ways that we can reduce the amount of uh, firewood that we're consuming is to go into here and insulate the homes. But it's a bit expensive. Um, each one, each house costs 20 gold. So it's going to cost me like 160 gold just to insulate these for the winter. And if I do these four, then that's um, that's another 80 gold, which will basically make me broke. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I am thinking, you know what? I should have done this on easy. Because you start with um, a lot more gold. Uh, let's put the insulation in there. The king sends his regards. Oh, and he sends us a bit of food and a bit of lumber. Wasn't that nice of him? And, and all the bad things they say about kings. And he's just sending us loads of stuff. It's awesome. Okay, so we've got those built. Okay, that one. We can insulate that one. And insulate that one. Boom. And you. Insulation. Boom. All right, cool. Okay. Am I going to put somebody in the watchtower? Pfft, I don't know. Got five people. I mean, I suppose we kind of could. Oh, I need to get the tailor going. And get the guard going. Go on. Leaves me three workers. Now nah, I'm going to leave the guard off for now because I think I think we're, we're we're fine at the moment. Safety levels. Um, safety. Yeah, everybody's happy with safety. It's not a problem. Okay, we've got plenty of lumber. We've got actually a bit of firewood, which is staggering. We can go down here now. What I want to do. Um, how are we doing for tools? We're at night. I was wondering whether I need to buy some tools. Um, how are we doing? That's the clothes shop. Now the clothes shop uses sixty tools a year. Now, we can optimise this, but it's blooming expensive. 
So I don't think we can afford to do that yet. Um, so we need to get the, the tool maker going. Um, yeah, let's let's get the tool maker going. We've got um, we've got coal coming in now. We've got iron coming in. So let's get a tool maker going. Where are we? Production buildings. Tool maker. Tool maker. Tool maker. Tool smith. That's the one we want. Um, I'm gonna put you in. Put you in there. Yeah, you go in there. Have fun. Okay. So <laughs> here's the big question. Here's the big conundrum. Right? Can we get enough iron and coal coming in so this is producing oh we need we can upgrade that that's that'll bring more people in sorry i'll bring more resources in well i've only got two workers now so we could do with some more people coming in but we're just about keeping it going right that's going to bring in 600 coal a year now people if they can will use coal to heat their houses right so even though it looks like we're bringing coal in that may get used up well we'll see and we're producing 360 iron okay i think we're going to have to boost up or try and boost up that um that coal production but anyway let's go over here and look at uh, oh this is not built yet come on build the darn tool maker okay well we'll see uh let's see what was i looking at oh the clothes so we need to produce 60 tools a year just to keep the clothes shop producing but if we can do that then this will produce 350 clothes per year. That will give us an excess for sure that we can then sell um, for like 50 each. For what, 45, close enough. Uh, and that is going to allow us to buy other stuff that we need. So the question is, can I produce enough coal and iron to produce enough tools to produce enough, uh, enough clothes? Uh, there's one other thing, leather. We need 220 a year. We've got two hunting lodges in. This is why I put two hunting lodges in. This is producing 135. This one over here is producing 132, which combined should be enough to keep this going. But will it? Well, if you want to find out if it's going to work, guess what? Yeah, you're going to have to come back for the next episode. Guys, I hope that this is um, intriguing you. Um, I need to upgrade the fisherman. So we've got 300 gold. I've got research to do. I've got other buildings to build. Oh, I really need this trading to work. Come back for the next one and find out if I can make it make it happen. Oh, convicts. Oh, you know what? We'll take the convicts. They lower safety, but I've got that watchtower that I can get going. So, um, so yeah, and that's six people to work. Woohoo! Come back for the next one. Peace out.